Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. So today I wanna to talk about these bug screens and how I made mine for the van. Now, if you have watched my van, van, van build series, you know that I'm a big fan of doing things myself and doing things as inexpens inexpensively as possible. There are a few things that I definitely splurged on in the van. The swivel seat, the scope of my swivel seat, getting the heater put in and tied into the gas tank, uh, the rear view camera, the Max Air fan, those sorts of things. Otherwise, I did everything else myself and as uh, budget friendly as possible. So when it came time, when I started camping in the van, I realized very early on that I would want to leave the door, the sliding door open when I was camped somewhere and it was a nice day, but I didn't want the bugs to come in. And so I made these bug screens. So nice when they magnet to the side. Uh, very early on in the journey, but I didn't film this video. So today we're going to do a version, the same thing, but for the back doors. Um, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is, how inexpensive you can do it. And um, we're going to do it together. So certainly you can spend hundreds of dollars on custom made screens. They make them for every brand of van, the Promasters, Transit, Sprinters, all of the vans. There are many companies out there that custom build, uh, that make specific, that's the word I'm looking for, screens for those each brand of vehicle. But I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a bug screen because, you know, I don't travel full time and I have a budget. <laughs> so I made these oh, very early on after getting the van oh, when I was going on my first big camping trip. And I did it really fast and I didn't film it. And now I want to build some, make a set for the back door, the back doors. And so I figured it was time that I shared with you how I made them so that you could see how easy they are, how inexpensively you can do it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Noisy, <laughs> noisy doors. Okay. So this is the back door of the ProMaster. And it is, I think it's 64 inches wide. 72 inches tall, uh, 64 inches wide at the widest point because obviously it curves in just a little bit at the top. Now, I don't think that they need to open. The screens that I have, well, I'll show you what I have. I'm gonna have to use more than one. Um, and I don't, I don't, don't think it's critical that this screen be able to open because people aren't gonna be coming in and out the back because the bed is there. I'll show you what I mean when we go inside. I do want to be able to have the doors open, obviously this curtain open and a bug screen so that when you're backed onto some place really pretty and it's really hot and you want some air circulation, you can get it by having a bug screen. First, I'm going to show you what the screen I already have on here looks like. It's actually uh, one and almost two, almost two full uh, units. Uh, I sewed them together here. You could glue them too, but I think just you could just hand sew that. It's pretty easy. They're attached by Velcro. I've put Velcro all around. And even though this is a rounded corner, you just pinch up the Velcro. And they work out really well. What I've done is I've shortened them a bit and then just put black duct, duct tape on the bottom of that. And... They work great. Now, I don't leave these on all the time, right? They're a little long still, but I like that because I don't want them sort of blowing in when it's windy. Um, and they would get caught in the door. So I only put them up when I'm stationary. Sometimes, like you saw when I was talking earlier, you can open them up and stick them to the side. If you, you know, have, you're going in and out quite a bit. It's really easy to do. You can just do that with one side if you want. Uh, but they close up easily. They work well. Here's what I bought. 
I bought two of these magnetic mesh door screens from the dollar store. They were $4 each from Dollarama here in Canada. They're actually not exactly the, like the ones I used before. They're, uh, they don't have the same kind of magnets. The magnets these have are a little different. And so I'm not sure how strong those are gonna be. So I've got two of these and for two panels I measured for like one set, let's just go that way, um, they're 40 inches wide. And I need 65 inches at my widest point. So if I did three panels, one and a half, that would only be 60. And I need just a little bit more and I would have to cut that last panel. But then I realized I had a little piece left over from when I did the set for this sliding door. And this is 11 inches. So perfect. So I, I end up with um, 90, no, 60, 70 inches, 20, 40, 60, <laughs> sorry, 71 inches wide. My math is not mathing today. I'm going to use three panels and this half, if that makes sense. So when you open up these boxes, what do you get? You get the screen. You get some push pins if you're putting this into wood, which we're not. And you get these Velcro bits. Now, the Velcro that I have along here is continuous. Um, and so in this case, they've given us Velcro bits. So this is a little bit different than the, the, fr the slider door because there was more place to put the Velcro. So having the Velcro here is not gonna be a problem along these strips here because there's lots of space for it. So when it gets to the side that it could be an issue. Um, and when it gets to the side, maybe I use magnets. I don't know. We'll start with getting it attached up here. Um, and then we'll see. We'll see what we do with the sides. So the next thing I'm going to do is go inside and sew the panels together, just hand sew, and then I'll come back out and we will decide what we're doing with the Velcro. Okay, so <laughs> this is taking longer than it should. So what I've done is, these are this is one section. And what I've done is I've actually duct taped in between the magnets up until uh, towards the bottom. I've left it open a little bit at the bottom. That's why I've left those magnets on so that I can get into the garage area, the under bed storage area of that panel. And I'm gonna put that panel over on this side because this is the door that opens first and most of the stuff that I reach for on a regular basis like my extension cord and such are in this bin. So then what I've done is I've attached one half of another one of those panel of those sets. I've taken the magnets off and I've attached that half uh, and then that little strip that I had left over. And I just did it by hand. I just sewed it, did a straight stitch, no big deal. If you don't know how to do that, don't want to do that, you could probably glue it. So that's what I've done. I've also put uh, black duct tape along the top on both sides, just half strips. Because this curtain, the curtains that I bought were only $4, they're not as well made as the panels that I chose for my slider doors. Um, so the header wasn't very substantial. So this makes things more substantial and means that the Velcro has something better to stick to. Speaking of Velcro, I have decided not to use the little pieces that came with the curtains um, because I just don't think that they're very, very good, very strong. And I've actually bought Velcro brand full, like continuous strips. 
And these are what I use. This is the brand that I use, the actual Velcro brand. This is what I use for my patio doors. Not my patio doors, the slider doors. And it's stuck really well to the metal. And so that's what I'm going to use in here. Now, I'm going to do a continuous strip along the top um, on the inside of the gasket. Um, and then I'll see what I want to do for the sides. Can't see me. I might end up using magnets, uh, like just to sort of attach it along the sides. Haven't decided yet. So, but the uh, hook part is what goes on to the frame and the loop part is what goes on to the curtain. So now I can get started putting this on um, and I'm going to back you up and let you sort of time lapse what I'm doing. Do you know what the problem was when I was measuring? I was measuring, hold on a sec. When I was initially measuring, I was measuring to in here, but I decided to put the Velcro there. Versus here. So, because I got impatient, I really wanted to get the project done and the video filmed so I could edit it and get it posted. I wasn't thinking so I made the mistake so I'm going to do that I'm going to take the curtain in and take off that little piece that little strip add the full fourth panel that will give me lots of space lots of room and then it will be fine so that's what I'm going to do now okay 
I'm going to lose the light. <laughs> so I have now got all four panels. So both sets of those uh, curtains that I bought. I've left the magnets on this side, like I said, so that I can get in at the bottom. Um, on this side, I left a magnet up on top and a couple on the bottom because why not? So <laughs> let's get this put on so we can do the final reveal <laughs> and you can <laughs> learn from my mistakes. Okay, it is in. There we go. So now when I'm sitting in bed and I'm at a campground where there's something to look at back here. I'll be able to put this up. Now I'm not going to leave it up because it does limit access to the garage, but I can still close my curtains and it does create a really nice cross breeze in here. And well, I think it's awesome. Uh, I, I am glad that there's an opening here. I just uh, don't know how high up it should come. But really, those are only going to go in when you're settled in a camping spot. I don't think I'll leave those on all the time. I'm going to leave them for a while, for a few days now, to let that glue set. It's actually really simple. Just don't change where you're measuring from. Don't start measuring from there and then end up putting your Velcro over there. Because what you end up with is about mm, 10 inches difference, <laughs> which is why I needed that last panel. Lesson learned. I hope that that was interesting. I hope it inspired you to um, try this project, to try this project yourself. Because let's face it, if I can do it, you can do it. And now that you've <laughs> watched me do it, you won't make the same mistakes that I made. This video will come out on Easter Sunday. So happy Easter to all of you in whatever way you celebrate it. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind, including to yourself. I love you, and I'll see you next time.